Hi, I'm Lau and this video is all about the Many Crowns video series. So if you want to know a little bit about what this video series is going to cover, then stay tuned for more. So I've got my trusty pad with me today and I'm just going to run through a few things that kind of just cover what our videos are about. I would say this is for a number of people. It's not just for one type of person, but it is for a type of person that's interested in a specific thing. And that's namely growing in the Christian faith, discipleship, and, and anything that kind of fits in that sphere or hangs off it. We're also gonna do some videos for things like reviews and some other interesting things, but the bulk of our content is mainly gonna be around that because I really believe that there's something we should be talking about, something we should have a community around growing in the faith. And I don't see it en masse within the Christian community. So I think, all right, let me talk, let me come out and say something. And hopefully we'll find each other and we'll have a great community and we'll be able to influence our peers and encourage them to grow as well. Cause this is really what we should be doing. This is therefore for newbies. If you want to grow, if you're familiar with the faith and you're just looking for practical advice or examples or things to think about, this is going to be great for you too. I mentioned before about community great for Christian community. There's going to be other people I'm sure that will be drawn to this conversation where we're just exploring what it looks like to mature, to grow, you know, some practical things like what does this look like in day-to-day -day life? I'm not here to be your teacher, to be quite frank. Even though some of the things I say will technically be teaching, I'm sharing experiences, I'm sharing my thoughts. And one thing I will say is that in my videos, please, please, please be a Berean. If you don't know what Bereans are, go check out Acts 11 and this will probably be one of the first and the last times I start quoting because I'm really not trying to quote. I, I feel like, you know, there's plenty of speakers out there that can do an excellent job of giving you chapter and verse on everything. I'm speaking from my heart, I'm speaking from my mind based on what has been poured into me, what I have read, chewed on and understood and I really think that all of us should get to a level of maturity where we're no longer looking in our textbooks, so to speak but we're actually the living, breathing word of God. God's working through us, we understand it, we know it. We're so acquainted with the word that we can speak to people and that the word of God, the spirit of God is just active in what we're saying and doing. And that doesn't mean that we put the Bibles away forever. It just means that we're consciously taking it in. We're consuming, digesting, and then living out the word. So that's what I'd love for all of us to do. That's why we're here. What else did I want to say? If you're an evangelist or you're evangelical at heart, and what I mean by that is that you just want everyone to be saved and you try and get into conversations with people about Jesus Christ, but you're not necessarily going out on the streets. You're not necessarily like what you would say, a classical evangelist always like preaching and preaching, but whether you are an evangelist in that sense or you're one at heart where you just have a love for people and you're always trying to bring them into a conversation about Christ and introduce them to Christ, this is for you. If you're just looking for someone to kind of learn from, an example, so I will not be, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not gonna shy away from the fact that by me being out here, I'm gonna be influencing some of you. So if you are looking for someone that's gonna influence you in a positive way, then I would say, follow me as I follow Christ. But that second part is so important. If there's anything you see me doing or saying that doesn't line up with the word of God, then please don't follow that. But the things that I do that you've read in the word of God that Christ does and has commanded us to do, then please do those things. I'm here to be as best as I can through God's help a great example to you guys. So I guess this is my way of also keeping myself in check. And in fact, in every video, I will ask you guys to fact check what I'm saying by reading the word and discussing it with your brothers and sisters so that, you know, you're making sure that this is not just I'm watching a video and I'm just accepting it on good faith, you know, which mm, I wouldn't really recommend. But, you know, it's always good to go back to the word, right? What do we expect from me? Here's what you can expect from me. You can expect my thoughts, experiences. So I'll share like maybe something I've been through that relates to the topic at hand. You can expect advice from me. So my thoughts, experiences and advice. Like I said, you should fact check what I share in my videos 
because I really think it will help you. It will make you understand it for yourself and you'll be able to see if what I'm saying is really true according to the Bible. I don't know many people that tell you to do this. So I'm hoping by me saying this, I'm putting myself out there. I'm holding myself accountable. And therefore, you know, if what I say is true, then you know, come back. Hey, while I'm at it, subscribe. I don't know where the thing will be, subscribe. I think that's all I wanted to say. So we'll leave it at that. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.